made me feel at ease, made me feel comfortable with him. Comfortable enough to bring him back to her room. Yet once inside, things changed quickly. I let him walk in ahead of me. I turned around and I locked the door. And he pulled out the gun and was pointing it at me. My heart started beating really fast. He just told me to lie down on the floor and put my hands behind my back. And he took out some plastic ties. And he kneeled down and basically put one knee in between my legs and proceeded to tie me up. At this point, Trisha was scared to death. But to her, the man appeared eerily at ease. He's calm. Like, he's not shaking at all. He seems to know exactly what he wants me to do. He went through my purse, picked up my wallet, took all my credit cards and my ID out of my wallet. Then he picked up her cell phone and tried to erase the number he had used to call her. He actually had to take his gloves off to touch the screen. I asked him if he wanted me to do it for him, and he said, no, I can figure it out after he erased his number from my cell phone, cut the phone cords with the with the knife. It was huge. It was like a butcher knife. Afraid of what he might do next with the blade, Trisha continued to follow his commands. Usually I don't let anybody take advantage of me at all, but it's a whole different story when somebody has a gun and a knife and they've tied you up. But even once he had her money, the man wouldn't leave Trisha alone. He started looking around my room, touching things, you know. Then he goes over and stands by my suitcase. He reached down, picked up a pair of my underwear and stuck it in his pocket. At this point, the man had been in her room for 10 minutes or more. Finally, he told Trisha to go into the bathroom. He took out another cord from his pocket, tied it around the bathroom doorknob, and then tied me to the doorknob. And then he reached back in his pocket and pulled out a roll of duct tape. He actually took off his gloves again to put the tape over my mouth, which at this point I'm thinking, okay, now your fingerprints are on the tape. But still, he wasn't done with her. He left the bathroom and went back into the room where I couldn't see him. And I heard a zipper on my suitcase. Later, I figured out that he had taken another pair of my underwear. Then the man returned and checked her ties one more time before leaving the room for good. As soon as she heard the door close, Trisha pulled her hands free. He had me tied to the point where it was just really easy just for me to twist my wrist and get out of the ties. So at that point, I went to the neighbors and knocked on the door, and I said, I'm in the 